And the beginning of a new year means a new chance to focus in on new resolutions. Eating healthier and gym memberships seem to be the most common. So how do you choose which foods to eat? We have Nina Carrera who is here to educate you on how to eat healthier in the new year. Thank you so much, Nina, for being here with us this morning. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, a lot of people this year are focused on losing weight. I know it's the number mm -hmm. one resolution this year. Um, there's so many different ways to go about it. Weight loss is really easy. The, the challenge here is maintaining the weight and keeping it off. And a lot of people want a quick fix, you know, losing 10 pounds from one week to another. And, you know, it's really about making healthier lifestyle changes. Yeah, it's and not that choices. easy. It's not that easy to just, you know, um, lose weight. So what exactly can people do to take them to that next level? There's different things that they can do. Um, a lot of people worry about how many calories they should eat. And you know, you can get carried away with counting and not everybody knows exactly how many calories are in every single little thing. Mm -hmm. So one great way you can do is really watching your portion sizes. Um, measuring cups are great tools for using to control what you're eating as far as portions go. Also using smaller plates, bowls, or cups are also great tools to use for watching your portions. And that can really cut back into how many calories you're actually consuming. Um, whenever you're having, you have your plate of food, half of your plate with vegetables is, really, is also a really great thing to do as far as watching your calorie intake. It adds vitamins and minerals, more color to your plate too. And if you're going to go to a restaurant, you're going to go out, you're going to eat, what can you do at the restaurant to make sure that you're not indulging in too much? Because I think that we have a problem in America sometimes with these mm -hmm. oversized portions, but also making maybe some simple swaps. Well, there's a lot of things you can do as far as eating out. Um, I know there's a lot of Mexican restaurants out here. One of my favorite things to talk about is when they bring you out the bowl of tortilla chips with the salsa. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, I suggest that you don't take the bowl of tortilla chips. Ask the waiter to take it away instead because, you know, four of those chips are basically one tortilla. And most of us just don't eat four chips. We, you know, we can't yes. keep eating them. They're just we, too yummy. Yes. We go to the restaurant. We're hungry. We're waiting for mm -hmm. our food. Um, so instead, you know, it's just easier if you ask the waiter to take it away. When you get your big plate of food, you know, right away automatically ask for a to-go box so you know like half of it, you're just going to eat half and then save the rest for lunch tomorrow. Okay, well thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We're going to keep you around for our next hour.